Texas. Since when are they hiring Muslims around here? Muslim Americans are no strangers to stereotypes. Bet you go home and learn how to make bombs. Get on a plane back to Pakistan. More than a decade after 9-11, hate crimes against Muslims are on the rise. The woman in custody facing hate crime charges after telling police she pushed the man to his death because she thought he was a Muslim. And the Boston Marathon bombing has them fearing even more backlash. We travel to the town of Kingston in upstate New York, not far from where a mosque was desecrated in 2010. A racial slur was spray painted on the wall of a mosque. And we've set up shop at the Home Plate Deli. Can I help you? Mina, the man behind the counter. I'm playing the Middle Eastern victim. And Oliver, the racist provoking him. I am the bigot. Are both actors. I don't want a terrorist touching my food or taking my order. The terrorist behind the counter. Not much reaction until this man speaks up. Hey, what are you giving me a hard time for? He's a Muslim. Not for you, man. They want to blow up the whole country. Not everybody's like that. We got to be better than that. You understand what I'm trying to say? We are better than that. We're Americans. Then get your and leave. You're pissing me off. You act like a jackwad in here in front of all these people. You don't have to carry on like a white. Obviously, he, he bothered you. Everybody's afraid to say something to him. Um, I wasn't, you know. Look, I, I would have been happy just to deck him, but... Back at the deli counter, Oliver isn't talking turkey, but... 9-11. You Muslim? Yeah. I don't want an Arab Muslim taking my order. Can I talk to an American? Let me take your order. No, 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 no. I don't want you to take my order. I don't forget 9-11, buddy, okay? They're Muslim. Terrorists. Do you want to buy this? Or do you I can't believe this. Or do you want to leave? You can't believe this? I can't believe you. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Is this really happening? Do you forget 9-11? I'm sure that that kid was not involved in 9-11. Relatives were. He represents his people. Are you going to make that judgment of everybody that you see that looks different than you? I know what an American looks like. I'm an American. You know what an American looks like? And yeah. they're all white? Is that what you're saying? No. Say to her, look, I'm like your brother. We're family. I'm just like your brother. I would hope that my brother wouldn't act that way, dude. I hope that my brother never acts the way you're acting right now. But you're clearly affected by it, huh? You have a little brother. I feel like a lot of young kids might think that way. They might be, you know, nervous about everything that did happen and not know. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't think that it's right for people to, to act that way. Over the course of the day, more customers stand up for our Muslim deli worker. I think you're being inappropriate right now. If you're not happy, you need to leave. I'm not okay with the way you're talking now. You're being, like, so racist. Is everybody who's walking around like that is a terrorist? He looks like one. You're an idiot. I apologize for my friend here. And then we meet this man. Looks like a Muslim. Yeah. And I've just, I've been coming here a long time. I, just, I hear you. I kind of, yeah, right? I didn't need to hire a Muslim, you know? Yeah. Could have been an American. Yeah, right. Yeah. We wonder, yeah. does he really agree? I mean, this is how it starts, you know? You know yeah. No, start working at one of these places and... Yeah. Send all the money home. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. and I'm worried about, I don't know, like a bomb or something. Yeah, so. yeah I don't feel like yeah. Muslims say they hate our country. Death to America. I know. I hear you. I mean... He's not the only one. No, there are a million of them. They all want to blow this place up. Time for us to hear more from him. You agree with what he was saying? He was telling the truth, you know what I mean? Some people watching this might say it's racist. Well, yeah, some people might. It's kind of hard to see the difference between Muslim, terrorists. You're not saying That's... they're all terrorists, are you? No, I'm just saying it's hard to decide who's who. I mean, they blend in with regular communities get regular jobs, you know, learn what they need to learn, do what they need to do, and then they strike. And then it happens. Now the final test. He's a soldier. He's in uniform. A member of the U.S. Army steps up to the counter. Hey, hey don't get with this guy. He's a Muslim. <laughs> is he laughing? Why is that funny? 
Unroll? Hold, hold on. What happened? This guy's a Muslim. We live in America. He can, he can have any religion he wants. Aren't you fighting against these guys? Not at the moment. Right now, I'm ordering a sandwich. <clears throat> I don't think he should be working here. Yes, oh, okay. Okay. Buy your chips and move out. He doesn't follow orders. Look, I'd like to order some food, just not from you, okay? Get out. Put the chips down and go buy them somewhere else. You want me to leave this place? You have a choice to shop anywhere, just like he has a choice to practice his religion anywhere. That's the reason I wear the uniform, so anyone can live free in this country. Leave the man alone, buy your stuff, and leave. Time to tell this soldier this is one battle he no longer has to fight. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? I'm John Quinones with ABC's What Would You Do, the TV show. He you gotta a, be kidding me. He was an actor. <laughs> People might say that's very heroic, what you said, is it? No, sir. No, your heroes come in many shapes and sizes, but that wasn't heroic at all. I was just being a person and standing up for someone else. But what principles were you defending? Everyone's inalienable rights. Everyone's? Everyone's in this country. And if you're Muslim? It doesn't matter to me, sir. If you're an American, you're an American, period.